Hi, this is Felicia coming to you with the recording that uh, I want to make on um, some city ordinance so I can get an understanding of what is going on. On August 4th, a orange tag was placed on a car that I have that is located on 19th Street and 800 block. And I informed the inspector that that car is under a insurance investigation. They've been made aware of it previous to that. Bristol West is the holder of this car until the check is being released from the insurance company. Turn around here eight days later from August 4th. I talked to the supervisor, Ms. Jones, on last week in reference to let her know that this car is still under investigation for the insurance because we are waiting for the check to clear. Turn around August 16th, eight days later, then stick Inspector is back out again. This time did not get out the car, but looking at the car, and I'm looking at the car from my residence that they stopped in front of the car. I'm assuming writing down information, but they did not get out and tag the car. And I'm right now in a medical situation where I can't uh, have the car towed until maybe Wednesday or Thursday, which which will be my 10 days. And they are not being understanding of that. And I talked to Miss Jones on the phone and she said she was understanding of that. And I explained to her that the tags that were on the car are good till the end of August. And apparently someone took the tags off the car. And she was wanting me to go back and pay $6 to get another tag for the car. But you can't go get another tag for the car because the car can't be moved because of the way it was wrecked. And I'm not going to take a chance of that actual anything breaking on the road, even though that car does start. So now I'm up with the dilemma. This week I have two tests to be done on Tuesday, Thursday, and Wednesday would be my 10th day. But they're not giving me a chance to get this car towed off based on the check clearing at retail merchants. Because the check originally, the first one that was supposed to go through, it got canceled. So therefore, I have to wait till Bristol West clears another check. And as to my knowledge, the check has been cleared as of Friday from retail merchants. So here this weekend, you can't call a salvage yard or anybody to pick up a car. So here today, I didn't have a chance because of the weather being so bad. And there's a gentleman that's going to come pick the car up. I'm going to, not going to tell the location where he's coming from. But uh, I have a test on Tuesday, which is August 17th. So I can't call anybody because I will be put under anesthesia. So, therefore, I won't be well till Wednesday, and Wednesday is my 10th day. But I just feel that I'm being harassed and bullied. That's the reason why I'm making this video. Uh, and, yes, that person is on my Facebook page, and they will see this video, and they will understand that I feel that I'm being harassed and bullied. Even though I know the city ordinance says that you're not supposed to park a vehicle on the grass, but where am I supposed to put the car? That's the purpose of me paying my tax and keep my taxes current. But this has been going on since 2016. I've been harassed about cars being parked in my front yard. I've been harassed about uh, stuff uh, being put on my parents' property as scrap uh, that we use to salvage to sell at the uh, scrap yard. So this is becoming an ongoing situation. I've made several posts on it, but now I'm going to make a video. Then upon April, they took upon themselves to go put two roller bikes on my mother's property. After I went down there and, you know, I kind of talked to him or whatever, you know, I kind of went along with it, you know, but I wasn't kosher with it because, you know, they rotted out my mama's property, left all the dirt and everything messed up. Then turn around, left trash on the property, which I've made uh, videos of that. But you keep harassing me about these cars or whatever, but you're not messing with other neighborhoods about their cars in these raggedy houses that we have in these neighborhoods that people are living up in. And I just feel since 2016 to 2021, I have been targeted behind my cars, behind my mother's property for us taking taking refrigerators apart and scrap and being labeled as putting this being littering. Never had this problem before. When my father lived back there. Now, since my father's gone, it's becoming a harassing and a bullying situation. And of course, keep in mind, my father did 32 years at the um, the city um, in the uh, solid waste uh, department. And the heavy equipment department for streets. So my father has put in a lot of time at the city. So we've never had this problem before until this last past couple of years after my father passed in 2016. 
So I'm coming to the public to get some help because at this point in time, I'm under medical condition at this time. And I can't be having this, um, have my blood pressure up, uh, food on and stroke out because the city decides they want to do what they want to do. Even though we have private property signs on our premises, they still feel they could do what they want to do. And like I said, with the roll-off boxes being put on my mother's property, two big roll-off boxes, then they turn on, left the trash there, blocked the alley. Then I turn on, asked the contractor who they hired in Port Arthur. They paid him, but they didn't come back after I went asked him to take the trash off my mother's property. They still left it there. So I've also posted pictures of that too. But my point remains, they are picking and choosing who they harass. And it looks like it's becoming a certain culture of neighborhoods that is being harassed about all these cars and houses uh, in their area. You know, but they're picking and choosing. And I'm just uh, at the point where now I have no respect for the city of Port Arthur. And y'all wonder why people don't want to live in this city in limits anymore. Why they're migrating to Needland and Beaumont, Port Natures, to these other areas. Because they don't have to put up with the harassment of what is going on in Port Arthur. I mean, this town already, you know, has a bad reputation. And then, you know, I understand the city inspector have to make their money in their money a day and hours to put in for the city to make sure everybody stays in compliance. But at the same time, you keep harassing the same people over and over. And then also there is a man that's disabled that lives across from me. That uh had to go to get out there with a sickle because we don't know what was in that alley. That man had to sickle that um property. And every week on a Wednesday or Tuesday, whatever it is, this uh particular inspector is coming back out, and it's just like it become a harassing situation. But I had an inspector that was parked in that yard Christmas Day about two or three years ago, and it was on Gulfway Drive, and it ain't hard for y'all to figure it out. And when we went to court. You know, they didn't, the supervisor didn't want to put the blame on them because I presented the pictures of their car being parked in the yard. So how can an inspector do what they want to do, but then a resident tries to stay within compliance? Uh, we get penalized, but an inspector don't get penalized. So how is that? Um, this is my end of my video, and I'm just going to let y'all know I am in a, under a medical condition at this present time, and I feel that I'm being harassed and, uh, it's working on my medical condition at this time. And that was discussed already. But, you know, here, not there. I'm going to try to stay within compliance. But like I said, this car um, has to be moved. I understand it. But it's under an insurance claim at this time. And I feel that I'm being pressured for the city to try to take this car and let the record services here make their money. And then turn around, take that car and scrap it to get parts off it. And I don't think that's fair. So if I can get any help from anybody... Uh, please let me know because this car will be towed away at my own cost because I'm not going to let them take it to a yard and then run up a bill where I can't get the car back because of their uh, doing. Be blessed.